Today in this video, I will explain you in the finest way that ceiling fan we use, how to do the connection of this ceiling fan. In the whole connection which I will explain you, I will tell you about three things. First of all, I will explain you that this ceiling fan we use, winding which is done inside the fan, from this winding, wires come out for connection. So how to identify that for what the particular wire be used for. After this, I am going to tell you with this ceiling fan here how to connect a capacitor. And in the third point, I will tell you in this ceiling fan, if you want to control the speed, then how to make connection of regulator and switch, this whole thing will be explained to you. So friends, let's start the video. Normally you have seen this ceiling fan in your home, above this fan a cover is there. Inside this cover, this type of terminal box is present. Now above this terminal box, these three terminals are there. On these three terminals, wires of ceiling fan are connected. So I connected all the three wires here. Now from the ceiling fan, three wires are connected, but we don't know that a particular wire is used for which purpose. And we also don't know that this capacitor here, with which two wires we have to connect this capacitor. If you want to do connection of ceiling fan, then before connection, first you have to identify the wires. For identification of wire, make a table like this. So this is our table. Whatever measurement we are going to take, all these details will be noted in this table. As I told you, from the ceiling fan, three wires come out for connection. In some of the ceiling fan, you can find four wires also. If from your ceiling fan, three wires are coming out for connection, then imagine the circuit diagram like this one. And if there are four wires, then understand that this winding here and this winding here, these two windings are not connected together. What's done there is, from one winding, this one, two wires are coming out and two wires from this winding is coming out. So in total, four wires are there. And among these four wires, one wire from this winding and one wire from this winding, connect these wires and make it one because three wires are required. So inside our ceiling fan, total two types of winding is done. One winding is starting winding and second is running winding. Now one end of both these windings is connected together and one wire is brought out. Now this wire which is coming out is known as common wire. For now, by going through this diagram, you can easily say this one is common wire. But in ceiling fan, wire which is coming out of ceiling fan, by looking into these, you cannot identify that which one is common wire. So if you want identification of wire, then for identification, you need to measure resistance. If you want, through test lamp, you can do the identification, but I will suggest you to measure resistance through multimeter. Now we have to measure resistance here. Then first of all, this red wire here and this yellow wire here, between these two wires, measure the resistance. After that, between yellow wire and black wire, we have to measure resistance. After then, between black wire and red wire, we will measure the resistance. The color coding which I am telling you here, you must not go to the color coding. In ceiling fans of different companies, color coding may not be same. A lot of people comment that I have changed the color coding. I changed the color coding so that you must not stick to a particular color coding. Whenever you are going for wiring, then first go for testing, identify the wires through testing and after that you should go for proper connection of wires. So first of all, between red wire and yellow wire, we have to measure resistance. When I am measuring resistance between red wire and yellow wire, so I will be getting some value. Whatever the value is, we have to note down here. For now I assumed that between red wire and yellow wire, 193 ohm resistance I got. Now between yellow wire and black wire, I will measure the resistance. So I will be getting some value. For now I assumed that 232 ohm resistance I am getting. After this, when I measured resistance between black wire and red wire, I got 425 ohm resistance. In these values of resistance, you just have to see between which two wires you are getting the highest resistance. You can see between red wire and black wire, we got the highest resistance. This means that this black wire here and this red wire, these two wires are of starting and running winding. Which one is starting and which one is running, we didn't identify yet. We only know that among these two wires, one wire is of running and one is of starting winding. Now this one wire is left here. This wire which is left here is known as common wire. It means if you want to identify common wire, 
then just see between which two wires resistance is highest. The highest resistance you are getting between two wires except these two wires, the third wire will be the common wire. So I written here common wire. Now we have to find starting winding. Whichever is your starting winding, resistance of that winding will be more than resistance of other winding. It means resistance of starting winding is more than resistance of running winding. In this reading here, we can see between yellow wire and black wire, we got more resistance value compared to this resistance. So this resistance here is of starting winding. How do I know this is the resistance of starting winding? You can see here, we first identified that yellow wire is our common wire. Leave this wire. When we measured resistance between common wire and this wire, we got highest resistance. As I told you before, resistance of starting winding is high. So this black wire now will be our starting wire. So this yellow and black wire are our common and starting wire. Now this lowest resistance here is of running winding. It means of this running wire, resistance will be lowest. So this red wire and yellow wire are our running and common wire. In identification of wire, we came to know that this yellow wire is common wire. Black wire is our starting wire and this red wire here is our running wire. Identification of wire is done. Now you have to do connections of capacitor. This capacitor here, in between running wire and starting wire, you have to connect this capacitor. Take one wire of this capacitor and connect with starting wire. And connect this second wire with running wire. Now in this terminal block, pay attention to one thing that on the side where three terminals are there, on the middle terminal here, connect the starting wire. If you connect starting wire at this middle terminal, then direction of this ceiling fan will always be clockwise. If somehow direction of fan is wrong, then how to change it, I will explain you this also. For now, only on these two terminals, you have to provide phase supply and neutral supply. Here I have neutral supply. Take this neutral supply and with this common wire here, connect this supply directly here. If you want, you can connect neutral power supply at this point also. There won't be any difference. But it is best that with the common wire, neutral power supply will be connected. Now take the phase supply and first connect with the switch. With other terminal of switch, connect a wire and with this fan regulator, connect this wire. Connect a wire with other terminal of regulator and to this terminal which is only left, connect this wire. It means power supply from regulator is connected with running wire. After this much connection, our ceiling fan now starts running. Now suppose direction of ceiling fan is opposite. To make the direction proper, what you have to do, this phase supply here, take this phase supply and this wire here, I mean starting wire, connect the supply with this terminal. What you will do, disconnect red wire from here and connect with this terminal. And disconnect this black wire and connect with this terminal. It means we will interchange these two wires so that direction of our ceiling fan will change. So I hope you understood the whole connection of ceiling fan. If you still have any kind of doubt, then comment in the comment box. I will answer to all your queries. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give like on my video. If you are new to the channel, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.